Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping in. I'm Rena, and in today's Boxes and Deals, I have some amazing products from a brand called Free Rain Farm. It has been a very long time, but I did have done some videos a long time ago from them. They have candles, they have soaps, and some other amazing products handcrafted. It's been a long time because they actually had gone out of business for a little bit, but they are back up and running. I'll tell you more about that and show you some products and give you some descriptions of several of them, all kinds of goodies. If you'd like to see what I got, please stay tuned. All right, so first of all, um, I'll tell you about Free Rain Farm. They're a small business and they actually have been around since 2014. It's a family owned business. They own a farm, obviously. Um, they are goat milk based and they make a lot of soaps, candles, salves, um, lotions, even homemade laundry soap, all kinds of things from their goat's milk and other natural products. Um, for the full story on their website, I'll give you the link in the description below, but long story short, they had gotten to where it became too much and they wanted to focus more on their family. And so there was another business that was more of a management business, um, you know, management and logistics. And they were like, no, we need your products. The world needs your products. And I agreed. I was very sad because I have had still, was just running out of their candles and soaps that I had a stock of. I had stocked up and was just running out of them when they went out of business. And of course, got a few more. They were based in Tennessee or are based in Tennessee. This other company um, that they knew, they knew this pe these people, they're based in Texas. And so in the end, they ended up to be, you know, business partners. And David and Bethany of Free Rain Farm are going to be the creative side of things and continue creating and making these products handmade, handcrafting, and continuing the same products. And Free Rain Farm Texas is going to be the logistics side, order fulfillments, and product business management employees, and all of that. So they can continue making the products, focusing on their family, doing the emails and blogs, and, um, and giving the rest of the business side of things to the business management and Free Rain Farm Texas. So... That is so exciting and they're still um, transferring all the products and everything down to Texas. Um, so if you go to their social media, it is not updated quite yet. So be patient with them during that process. They have a lot that they're doing. <laughs> that they're, doing. they're still just up and running. Um, they're still doing a lot of transitioning. So I'm going to show you a few of their products. They do have some kind of new labels. They are making some new labels, new scents, um, just a lot of transitions. So that is very exciting. And they sent me some products and I'm so excited to show you just in time for the holidays. And they sent Clara Barrera some products and she crafty some products. So we're all going to show you and they got some different things. So go make sure to check out their channels as well so that you can see a whole variety of things that you can buy on their website and their shop. It is open for business, so you can go ahead and shop on their shop. Um, like I said, their social media isn't quite up to date, but that's okay. You can still shop on their shop. Their website is open. Um, if you do have any questions, they will email you. I can give you that link in the description. Um, I do have an affiliate code. I don't, you know, I'm not worried about making money. I like them to know that, hey, Rena's sending us people and they're not sending me stuff for nothing. You know what I mean? I want, I, I just, I want to help them out that way. The affiliate link should still give you a, an automatic discount. If you use my link, it is in the description. You click on that and shop 10% off. 
all right? All right, so we're gonna do some smells really quick, and I'll also at the end kind of give you some clips of the candles burning and how they burn and things like that. Okay, so first of all, we'll do candles. Those are my favorite. I stock up every time they had sales. They have so many scents, and they do have a scent guide, so if you go on their candles, um, I can give you some, kind of some help here. I'll do a split screen so that I kind of show you. You go on their candles, you go in their soaps in different categories, and they also have a scent guide to kind of tell you a little bit more about each of the scents. So this one is Fireside Christmas. And they wanted their labels, since they are moving to Texas, they wanted their labels to kind of represent Texas a little bit more. And there is the shape of te the little state of Texas down below. And then of course the around the label is the fireside Christmas. What I love about their candles is it is 100% soy. It is U.S. farm sourced. No paraffin whatsoever in there. It is not a soy blend. It is 100% soy wax. It is phthalate free. The scent is phthalate free. So you don't get that phthalate headache from the scent. So it is a pure fragrance and all their candles are dye free, but they are wood wick. So they do that crackling, but also it's not only wood wick, but it is cotton wick. So I wanted, I burned one candle, so you'll, you'll be able to see that. I'll show the clip of that, but I wanted to burn one so I could tell you about the throw and everything. And I wanted to leave one unburned so I could show you more detail. Um, there is a cotton wick as well, and that is pure cotton. So that if the wood, you know how sometimes it'll just kind of have a hard time burning and it'll just kind of fizzle out. The cotton wick helps it to keep on burning when it's wanting to kind of fizzle a little bit. So the combination of the two, I've never seen any other candle companies use that and I think it makes it burn very nicely. That, oh my goodness, the scent. It smells, I mean, the name says it perfectly. Fireside Christmas, it just, Smells like you're, <laughs> it's just dreamy. <laughs> just makes me happy. It's, oh my goodness. It's going to disappear fast. <sighs> it is amazing. And let me tell you, just having it open, sitting on the desk, you can smell it without burning it. So that is another nice thing. You can just have it sitting there open and smelling it. Oh. It smells like a Christmas tree by the fireplace. It has a slight smoky scent and some, oh, some holly and I don't know, a hint of cranberry maybe. Okay, next candle. <laughs> this one is called Smoked Birch. I love the mason jars because I reuse them. There's a lot of uses for mason jars. We use them as drinking glasses, but you can use them as planters. You can, there's so many uses. I love them. So this one is smoked birch. And look at the design on this one. The background scenery is beautiful. And the nice thing about this scent is that, oh my goodness, that's interesting. So before I burned it, and I did burn this one, before I burned it, the first smell is just like a fresh cut tree, which was very nice and with a hint of smokiness to it, but just a hint. While it was burning, I expected a stronger scent to it, but it wasn't very strong. Now I will say that Free Rain Farm, for the most part, their candles, once you start burning them, you can smell them, a lot of them, through the entire house, which I love about them. Some of them are lighter, and surprisingly, this is one of them. 
So this one, I couldn't really smell as much through the whole house. It was a lot lighter. So this one is one that I would say would be more of a bedroom scent or bathroom, a small room. Anyway, but now that I, I burned it and then let it cool, try and smell it. It smells like a smoked, like, um, after you put out a fire. That's interesting. That is very interesting. All right. I had to run really quick. I am back and I, I was gone for about 10 minutes and came back. I am burning one of the wax melt warmers, wax melts in my warmer. <laughs> and I'll tell you about that in a moment. And it's very interesting. It's a surprise, uh, scent. Like it, the, so the scent is surprising me. So again, kind of like the smoked birches surprise, surprised me with the, the smokiness. I don't know. So, okay, we'll go with that one first. The wax melts, again, are 100% soy, just like the candles. The nice thing about these, the wax, is that it's soft enough that all you have to do, you pop it, push that square, and one square pops out like that. One square. Look how easy that was. So this one is the vanilla pumpkin that I'm burning in my studio right now. And it smells very creamy, very vanilla with a hint of pumpkin and a hint of spice, but it's more of that creamy and not a very strong cinnamon. So I am all about the pumpkin spice. I love pumpkin spice and I don't get tired of it. So I'm one of those. <laughs> It's so good. Anyway, so that's what I was thinking when I started burning it. It was already melting as I was talking. Came back. The interesting thing is it has a twist. So I walked back into my studio and I'm like, interesting. It actually kind of smells now like it doesn't smell like it does in here. Now my studio smells like, like a bucket of Halloween candy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It just smells like Halloween candy. How they did that, I don't know. They performed magic somehow. So yeah, it's it perfect October scent right here. How it smells like Tootsie Rolls especially. So that's the base notes, Tootsie Rolls, I guess. All right, next. The other one I already tried is called Hill Country Orchard. And this one used to be called Mountain Orchard. And I did two of them in my tabletop warmer. And this actually, just these two squares did make my entire open floor plan smell like apple cider. So this is one of those that the throw is strong. So if you like a candle that makes your whole house smell like fall, especially this is the, and you like the, that apple cider scent, you will love this one. Next, I tried morning mist. This one is more, if you like more of a fresh scent, this one is beautiful for that. This one I burned in my bathroom. This one is light. It's kind of citrusy and fresh and herbal. Then we have Warm Latte, my personal favorite of the bunch. Mm, I don't know. I say that, but that's hard to pick a favorite. I love my coffee though. This is a good kitchen one. Warm Latte, it smells just like a fresh cup of coffee. So creamy and nutty cup of coffee. <clears throat> That's how I would describe it. Delicious. I haven't burned it yet to describe the throw. This one, I love my Christmas trees and forest. I love fresh cut trees. That's one of my favorite all time scents. 
evergreen. I just love it. Spruce, fresh spruce, fresh cut cedar, fresh cut juniper. Those are some of my favorites. I haven't burned that one yet. That one smells like it would be fairly light. It's not quite as strong as say Fireside Christmas even. And then last we have Vanilla Amber. Now this one smells like a warm, almost smoky vanilla buttercream frosting. So it's more on the buttery side. Very warm, ambery. So vanilla amber, that is delicious. Um, that one is not strong either. So that one's kind of similar to the warm latte. Again, I'll have to burn those to see how much throw, but they're not strong. I think these would be both perfect for the kitchen. Um, so not overpowering. All right, next, soaps. So I have been in love with their soaps for a while now. They are amazing and they have several scents to choose from as well for these. They sent me one of my favorites because it smells like fresh cut lavender buds. This smells just like a summer evening walk through the lavender gardens. It smells amazing. So if you do, if you do like a fresh cut lavender, this is called Summer Night Walk and it is soothing to the skin. Um, if you have inflammation, if you have any type of skin issues, if you have any sensitivities at all, uh, skin sensitivities, this is a really good soap for you and it's goat's milk. Um, even psoriasis or eczema, and you don't, you're not sensitive to lavender or, you know, some people are allergic to lavender, but if you're not, then this would be a good soap for you. Let's see if it has ingredients. Goat milk, um, spawnified natural fats, coconut and olive oils, lavender essential oil, and alkanet root powder. And then of course, I believe, I do believe that they put actual lavender buds in there. So, yes. All right, the other soap they sent me is called Promised Land, and this is honeysuckle and oatmeal. And generally, I'm not big on honeysuckle either, but this smells good as well. And you can actually smell the oatmeal in it as well. And this has goat milk, saponified natural fats, coconut and olive oils, honeysuckle, bioidentical oil, and oatmeal. And it's real honeysuckle and real oatmeal. Again, oatmeal is soothing to the skin. Both of those are healing. So these are all very healing soaps. They have men's soaps, leather. Um, what are some other ones? Some fun ones. They even have um, ones for pets. They have ones that are completely unscented. Some for sensitive skin. They have some for garden hands, like that are you know, just rough hands that you could also use for eczema and psoriasis, all kinds of things. All right, and then they have treatment products. This one is a fix-it salve, and it's an herbal salve, and the ingredients in this are olive oil herbal infusion, which includes comfrey, calendula, plantain, yarrow, and rosemary. So it's infused with those herbs. And then it has beeswax, vitamin E, lavender, lemon, and eucalyptus essential oils. So the essential oils are lavender, lemon, and eucalyptus. Now, all of those things are good for inflammation, scarring, acne, um, healing, uh, I already said acne, um, wrinkles, dry skin, you name it, wounds, so all any type of you know rashes itching bee sting sunburn <laughs> so this is kind of an everything salve eczema it's 
smells like it smells like tea. <laughs> you can smell the lemon. The lavender lemon is what comes out the most and a little bit of the eucalyptus. So the essential oils are kind of the strongest as far as the scents. Right. And then I've had this one before and ran out of it. I absolutely love this one. And this was the only item that I actually requested specifically. And this is the Tail Off Blend Natural Lotion Bar. And they do have a few scents of this, but this one is my favorite because <laughs> not only the name, <laughs> it says for when you worked your tail off because it's anti-inflammatory. So you can use this. It's a solid lotion bar. It's kind of like a deodorant um, texture. It's anti-inflammatory, so you could put it wherever, but you can also use it for dry skin. So you can put it like in your sore muscles. You can also use it on your hands, on your cuticles, all of these lotion bars, you can use it for that. You can, um, I'm gonna give you a demonstration. Look how dry, I don't know if you can tell that in the camera, how dry my, my hand is, my hands. Okay, and here is some cat scratches. We're gonna use the herbal salve on those. This would be good for that as well, but we're gonna do the herbal salve. So I say use this for during the day or at night for sore muscles and stuff, but and then use this as like a night salve. But if you wanted this for hands, um, this is has shea butter, essential oils, it's fast absor absorbing. It says all of our natural lotion bars have all the moisture your skin craves without water, without the water of liquid lotion. Lotion bars melt easily onto your skin, um, imparting natural goodness for amazingly soft skin. The ingredients on this one are shea butter, coconut oil, beeswax, vitamin E, eucalyptus, tea tree, peppermint, lemongrass, and lavender essential oil. Those essential oils combined make not only an anti-inflammatory, they make an anti-fungal, antibacterial, um, a soothing, a healing. Again, a, um, say you got a sunburn or a rash or a bug bite, it's, you know, anti-itch, um, things like that. So you can use it on all of that. Yeah, it even heals a sunburn. Can you believe that? It goes on a lot easier. It's waste-free. It's a lot less packaging. So you don't have all, you know, the water-based lotion. So it's more concentrated. And rub that in. So there's that. It smells lemony as well. I love it. It's kind of cheerful. That's what comes out the most is the lemon. This one I don't even smell any of the lavender or eucalyptus. It just smells like lemon. Whereas this one you can smell some of that lavender and eucalyptus. This I'm going to try on this hand and then we'll show you Kind of the difference in the texture and why I would use this one more at night but this like I said, you can use just a tiny little bit say if you just have something like this that you just need some soothing healing for cat scratch <laughs> so that it doesn't you know how they get really like I get ant bites because we have ants, red ants, and I'll be outside and they go, come crawling up. Or if I get the cat, like right here, and it, you know, it uh, swells up. So then I put that on there and it makes the swelling go down and it makes it stop stinging and itching. 
So a little bit of that goes a long way. So there's, I don't know if you can really tell the difference in texture without feeling it. Yeah, they kind of look the same. This one's a little oilier. Slightly. A little thick, heavier, I guess. Thicker. This one's more olive oil based. This one's shea butter and coconut oil based. So there's pretty much your main difference. So they have all kinds of stuff like that as well. They even have... Um, laundry detergent and they have all kinds of stuff so you'll have to go shopping look at it but these make amazing Christmas gifts stocking stuffers a whole Christmas basket you know all of these things holidays are coming self treats self care so that's just some ideas for you and we have a giveaway. I have a giveaway and Clara has a giveaway. So if you enter both, that's even more chances of winning. And you will win two candles. Two winners on my channel will win two candles of their choice. And two winners on Clara's channel will win two candles of their choice. They're two separate giveaways. So it's just two opportunities for you. All right. So for my giveaway, it will end on Sunday, September 25th, and I announce the winners. It will be announced in my community as community posts, so watch that. It was, and they will be pinned in my, their comments in the comments below will be pinned, and I will comment under their comment, you know, announcing it. And then you can email me once you see your announcement or Instagram message me within 48 hours so we can arrange your candle prize. It will be shipped to you directly from Free Rain Farm and we'll get all that organized. Um, more details in the description below and in order to enter you must in the comments below write your favorite scent that I talked about in my video. All right, you can also get a bonus entry by going to Clara's channel and to She Crafty's channel and commenting on their videos. So I'll be checking for that as well. So um, you can comment in my video. You can do a second comment if you wish, confirming Hey, I subscribed and commented on She Crafty and Clara's channels, so I can know to go check for that for your bonus entry. All right, so that will give you a bonus entry. You can get one main entry by commenting your favorite scent that you would be most interested in. That could be one of the candles, that could be one of the wax melts that I showed, it could be one of the soaps that I showed, or one of the salves that I showed. Um, it could be any of those. Again, this ends July, or July, wow. This ends September 25th, 9 p.m. Pacific time on Sunday, um, which would be midnight for you East Coasters. <laughs> So that gives me Monday to do the drawing. I'll announce the winners on Tuesday. So watch for that announcement in my community post. Um, I don't know if I'll make a video for sure. So for sure it will be in my community post. Um, set your notification bell just in case. And I will pin the comment, pin your comment, the winner's comments, as well as comment under your comments. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.